guys, welcome back to Josh's Life. Uh, finally got this in, so Clearwater Scrubbers, everybody knows I have the uh, CW100 series algae scrubber uh, by them. I ordered it from Bulk Reef Supply. Kind of expensive, but uh, so far, you know, I really like it. I haven't had to harvest any algae on it yet, but I do finally see some algae growing. Uh, it started out as brown algae and I'm starting, it looks like a little green on it now. So uh, I'm about to show you what that's looking like. But uh, this, the uh, the blackout uh, covers, I guess you call it, uh, they've been out of them ever since I ordered it and just have got them back in. And so as soon as I saw them available or I got the notification, I uh, went ahead and ordered these. So I'm going to open these and we'll take a look and see what they look like. Um, Kind of pricey, man. They make a lot of money on these things. They're, uh, I think they're fifty nine ninety nine, so sixty bucks for a couple of plastic little shields. But uh, let's let's see what kind of quality they are. Okay, some package pretty nice, but completely wrapped in bubble wrap and taped up so they don't get broken. Um, all right, I'm one handed, so let me get them unwrapped from this and we'll take a look. Okay, so. They're actually a little bit better than I expected. I mean, it's still expensive for just, you know, the acrylic that you're getting. But I almost thought they would be like the uh, the cheap 3D printed material or whatever. I, I mean, you know, acrylic getting overly expensive, but at least it is kind of a thicker acrylic. And uh, I mean, they seem to be put together well. So, you know, it just comes with two of them, one for the front, one for the back. Um, so, let's uh, go under the aquarium and uh, we'll take a look at uh, the algae that's growing in there now. And, uh, and then we'll get these, uh, get these light shields on, see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the clear water scrubber again with the light on you can't see very much in there well I can but you can't see it on uh, camera so let me let's take a look like this first and then after that I'm gonna um, turn the light off and we'll take a look I mean you can see kind of the algae growing in there let me stop for a second and uh, turn that light off all right now we have the light off. Oh yeah, now you can really see the algae in there. Alright, so take a look. We got some good algae growing. We'll let it, of course, get thicken up a little bit before I harvest any of it. But pretty cool. I think it's working pretty well. Then we'll see with these covers. Mm. Let's see. I don't know how they're actually meant to go. turns around the other way. Okay, let me use two hands to stick them on. All right, let's see my reflection. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. Um, that's with the light shields or cover on. Um, doesn't block out 100% of the light. You still have it coming from underneath and, you know, around those little gaps there. But, uh, you know, I think it's gonna block most of the light from coming out into your sump. So, I mean, it looks, even though, like I always state, nobody looks inside the cabinet but me, um, uh, you know, it's nicer than just having the piece of cardboard in there. So, anyway, I'm happy with it. It was expensive. And, uh, well, the whole unit was expensive, but I'm happy with it and don't have any regrets on getting it so far. So anyway, that'll wrap up this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about it. And as always, thanks for watching.